camera, man, on the It Is What It Is podcast, bro, they were talking about, you know, sons not wanting to be like their dad. You feel me? And I understand why Cameron's son don't want to be like his pops. And I'm about to show you right now why in this video. People, especially if you have sons, your son don't want to be your friend. He don't want to he, he don't want to feel like you're his homie, bro. Like you're his pops, you're his father. Like he understands your role in his life. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at the video. Yeah. Camera, put the camera right here. When I think about kids today, it's amazing how they want to be everybody but their dad. I think it's a curse wow, when people bro. don't want to be like their dad. I watched that with, with um, Shaquille O'Neal's son. He wanted to be Kobe. Or, you know, you could just go down the list of kids. And I, I fool with Shaq. I fool with the family. But I think it's a real curse to not try to be like your dad, especially if your dad is great. Yeah. Listen, I'll give you that's a great point. Yo, I, I could imagine being Shaq, bro, and my son talking about I won't be like Kobe. I'll be like, oh, word? Who's feeding you, bro? That Shaq money or that Kobe money? You want to be like Kobe Bryant? Okay, go tell him to adopt you then. Cutting all funds immediately, bro. Next time you swipe that credit card, it gonna decline. Let's see who you want to be like. That's what I would say. See, some of these are soft. You know, they don't like teaching their son's lessons, man. I would have been Shaq. I'm like, right, go be like fucking Kobe, bro. Go tell him to pay your fucking bills. Go get a fucking job. I know. My son in his bio on his Instagram page says, <laughs> I'm not from Harlem and I can't help you get a record deal. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty funny. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'll go in the gym and my son will be downstairs working out. I come in, he got, he sleep, look at me, rolls eyes and go upstairs. I go upstairs, I say, he, he'll leave. I said, I will get home. I said, yo, what's up? He said, I don't need everybody being my friend because you my father and all that <laughs> shit, man. You know what I said? I say, yo, my nigga, like, you know I'm some cool nigga, right? You know I'm some extra, like, fly, cool nigga, right? I talk to this nigga like this. Like, you know, I'm some fly nigga. Like, nah, so the nigga, like, so he um he went out with my man, British. Um, shout out to British, what's up? Yeah. So my son is like, you know, he works out, eats good, real healthy, you know? And so, you know, I fuck with that nigga. I be like, yeah. Yo, you want to get some hookers? You want, yo, let's get some pussy. <laughs> you know, he, he, he'll be like, get, the, yo, get out of here, my nigga. That's the fucking problem right there, right? I'm going to go deep into, into it. Let's finish watching the whole clip. But that's the biggest problem right there, bro. As a father, as a man, you cannot talk to your son like that. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter how cool you are, bro. It don't mean how down, how down you are, how famous, rich. It don't matter if you're cool or not. No son wants to hear his pop say some shit like that. So... My man took him out to get on his 21st birthday and he drank some wine. So I'm like, he come back home, not the same day. And I'm like, oh, you was drinking with niggas? I told you a little drink. You can't fucking drink with me. He's like, he's not my father. I said, but I'm cool. He said, yeah, but he's not my father. So just to add on to your point, kids are trying. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Certain kids are like, look. I love my parents. I fuck with them, but I want to have my own identity. And I respect that as yeah. well. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's crazy. That's the same thing happened with me and my son. My son loves me, like, tremendously. But right. when it was time to take him to college, he was like, where you going? I said, what do you mean, where I'm going? Yeah. He said, I don't want everybody to see you when I walk on campus. <laughs> Eminem actually did that with uh with his daughter when she graduated from college, I think it was, or high school. Like, he didn't go. He sent, like, a video for them to put on camera because he didn't want to suck the energy out of the room. Like, that was his daughter's moment. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to take that from her. I'm like, so where do I stay? <laughs> <laughs> My money goes, but, but I stay in the car. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> he like, said, I, I want people to meet me first. <laughs> I was like, man, ah. Right. Yeah, same shit. Same shit. Like, <laughs> my son has the same name as me. So, you know, like, when he gets to high school, like, ninth, eighth grade, I believe it was. It was even eighth or ninth grade. But they was like, hey, yo, um, is your father the rapper Cameron? Now, mind <laughs> you, we got the same name. He like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him, man. That's something that a lot of these fucking celebrity kids, man, deal with, man. It's an identity crisis. Like, they want to be themselves. Then you're going to fucking name them after you, bro. But whatever. Let's go back to the comments that he made earlier when he said, you want to get some pussy? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you can't joke around like that with your sons and expect them to respect you and want to be like you, right? Every son has a certain expectation from his father. He knows and understands the difference in relationship. These are my homies. Those are your friends, right? I may joke around with them in a certain way, right? But I have higher expectations for you because you're my father, right? And these rappers' kids, bro, they grow up well. They grow up going to private school, living in mansions in nice neighborhoods you know what i'm saying so they're extremely privileged in that way their friends at school their fathers are not rappers and they're not street dudes you know what i'm saying so they see what a dad is supposed to look like and then i'm stuck with this a man joking around about take teaching me how to trick what's next we're gonna tell you, you want to smoke crack 
the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You can't tell your fucking son, bro. Come on, let's get some pussy, bro. I'm paying. Bro, you rich and famous, and you, guys, and you still gotta pay? Like, you know how, do you not understand how much of a sucker you gotta be to be rich, famous, bro, and still gotta pay? Some people gonna be like, hey, yo, broski, bro, you gotta pay anyways if you think about it, right? You gotta pay for the food, right? If you take out to eat, then you gotta pay for the telly, the gifts you give her. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. That's not fucking paying, man. You wanna know why? Because, all right, let's say the broski me, son, fine young thing, bro. You say, hey, yo, bitch, I'm gonna take you out, right? Bet, right? The money that I take out my pocket at the gas station, to give to the fucking cashier, bro, to pump gas in my car, he's getting that money. Gas station getting that money, right? When I take out money in my pocket, give it to the barber to give me the freshest cut that has ever existed on planet Earth, and guess what? The barber getting that money, right? When I call my car insurance, man, make sure that shit is paid, car insurance getting that money. You know what I'm saying? When I go to the car wash to wash the car, car wash getting that money. When I go to the fucking restaurant, right? The fucking waiter, the restaurant's getting that money, right? When I go to the telly, the hotel is getting that money, right? At no point did I ever go into my pocket, right? And say, hey, spread them legs open for you in here. Like, that's never happened. I've never took money out of my pocket and put it in hands. That ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? The only thing this bitch is out he's gonna get from the broski bro's dick. That's it. Right? I tell him shut up. Hey, listen, I'm gonna tell you something right now, baby girl. You fucking with me, right? You fucking with the broski. I don't trick. I ain't buying you no purses. I ain't buying you no gifts. You ain't getting shit from me. The only thing you're gonna get from me, bro, is about 45 seconds of pain for you, pleasure for me. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all you're getting from me. Them gifts, you go get from a sucker. Go get yourself a sucker that'll give you all the all the fucking experiences. You know what I'm saying? He'll pay for everything, right? And then you come over here so I can give you this 45 seconds of pain. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because you can't be out here tricking as a grown man, bro. Are you fucking crazy, bro? Paying a woman to spread her legs open for you, bro, as a man, and you're going to take pride in that, talking about, oh, I don't want to deal with none of the other shit. Are you fucking insane, bro? You know how much of a cornball you got to be, bro, to go in your pocket, bro, and pay a woman to spread her legs open? And that's the only reason why she's doing Nah, man, you're going to sleep with me, man, is because you like me. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these dudes, man, couldn't really pull women like that when they were regular dudes. You know what I'm saying? I don't got rich and famous very early on. So they never had to have game. You know what I'm saying? They never learned how to sweet talk a female. You know? So it makes sense to me why all these fucking rappers and all these celebrities, they all fucking trick. All of them are fucking tricking pain bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, kids have a certain expectation from Pops, man. He would love you more and respect you more if you caught him, you know what I'm saying, uh, tricking and you whoop his ass talking about we don't do that. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're my man, bro. You're supposed to earn it, man. Go out there, find a fucking woman, bro. You know, sweet talk, do whatever you got to do, man, and allow her to sleep with you because she fucks with you. But you don't fucking pay for that shit. He will respect you more if you whoop his ass when you catch him doing something wrong than when you try to do something wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? He'll be pissed off. Like, ah, fuck, Pop's tripping again, man. He caught me doing this, man. He went over here acting up and shit like that. But he will love you for that. He will respect you for that, right? Then he'll begin to want to be like you, right? Because sons judge their fathers based on the moral character. No son want to see their father do the wrong thing, bro. It hits different. It feels different. No son wants to fucking see their father engage in a sucker behavior, man. Especially when you fucking raise them in an environment where they're coming, where, where, where the, their peers, their friends are coming from healthy homes, bro. No father should ever trick with his son, bro, or do drugs or none of that. None of that, bro. That's not your role in his life, bro. Your role in his life is to point him in the right direction, teach him the difference from right and wrong, and you just don't do this, right? Whatever shit you do, keep that shit on the low, keep it away from him. Don't let him see it. You know what I'm saying? Because once he sees you in that light, he's gonna respect for you. He's not gonna wanna be like you no more. Cause you're like everybody else. Talk less, do more is an embodiment of the spirit that the Broski carries. Cause around here, we don't talk about it, we'll be about it. So if you wanna help support and grow the Broski army, the Broski channel, the Broski movement, go out there and get yourself a little water bottle, man. If you're out there hitting them gyms, man, get yourself a little coffee mug to remind yourself, man. Stop talking so much man and start doing you know what i'm saying so if you have some goals you're trying to attack man and you want to attach yourself to a meaning that's gonna empower you go cop that right now man the link is in the description box man y'all see it below man make sure you subscribe like share and i see you next time peace